Oh, you're having a hard time breathing? I'm sorry, I didn't even notice you. Oh, that's too bad. Are you in some sort of medical problem? Let me check. Are you okay? I think I'm gonna faint. Oh no! <laughs> To be or not, <laughs> that is the question. Just love? I don't know. <laughs> I love chocolate. <laughs> it's just, it was just a freeze. <laughs> it's so nice to see you again. All right. Freeze. Right to the left, to the right, to the left. Um, you're doing a great job, Grandpa. You're not stepping on my feet at all. Uh, yeah, here we go. Yeah. Spin me around too. Yes, here oh, we go. Okay. All right. Are we gonna box yeah. up? I want you to go through Freeze. my legs. I'll lift you up like this. Are you ready? <laughs> Are we ready to lift this log? Do you think we can do it? I don't know if we can do it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I gotta get it back. Ah! 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 Freeze. I don't know. Freeze. I... <laughs> oh, I dropped my contact. Oh, man. <laughs> You know, this, this hard one is so difficult to find contacts. I don't, I do this every day. I don't get this. I Freeze. can't. I'm so sick of pulling these weeds. It's like it's a never ending job. It's like, yeah, we better get over to the raspberry pie. Uh, okay. And so, these gloves are just, I mean, they're bare. Way too big for you. I'm going to have to take your away from you. Good job, everybody. Good job. All right, so uh, uh, I'm going to have Cindy Lee, Kara, uh, John, Scott, and Marge stay on stage here with me, and the rest of you can take a break for now. Okay. All right, come on and line up for me. Uh, perfect, all right. Now, I know we haven't known each other in very long. We just, you know, I just met some of you. But I think we could probably all agree that the world would be a lot better place if it wasn't for other people, right? Uh, sometimes you just run into the world's worst something, you know? Like, uh, I'm sure you've gone home at one time or another and told your loved one or your pet, you know, I just ran into the world's worst cashier. I ran into the world's worst bank teller. So, tell you what. You give us an occupation or a type of person, and we will come up with the world's worst of that for you. Some examples. So world's right worst driver. Okay, world's worst driver. Start with that. World's worst driver. New York City. Trying to get. Hey, cab. Listen, I gotta. I gotta get to the Yankee Stadium, and I've only got twenty minutes. Wake up, hey guy. Wake up, wake up, wake up. <laughs> Where's Yankee Stadium? I don't know where Yankee Stadium is. I got fifteen minutes. Come on, let's go. Faster! That's good, John. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, you see how this goes, right? <laughs> Very small driver, all right? So give me another type of person or occupation. Doctor. Okay, doctor. World's worst doctor. <laughs> So, let me see your chart. Nah, you're not sick. Go on. <laughs> nurse? Nurse? Bring me a spatula. I'm going to cut his knee open. <laughs> okay, the incision is all done, and this surgery took us eight hours. We started... Where's my watch? <laughs> open your mouth wide. No, wider. Wider! Wider. I mean, I gotta get my hand in. No, don't bite my hand. <laughs> well, um, wow. Well, 
maybe you should take that gown, maybe you should put the gown back on. <laughs> all right, good, good. Something else? Anything at all? A dog trainer, world force dog trainer. <laughs> Jump up, come on, higher. You can do it. Let's go higher, higher, on the counter. Go on the counter. I was gonna be okay. Go, be free. <laughs> that is the world's worst dog. <laughs> Something else. Carpenter. Uh, thank you. World's worst carpenter. Mm -hmm. yeah, wow. Well, let's try another one. Uh, maybe I should remeasure that thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to turn this small block of wood into a nice cuckoo clock. <laughs> bang, 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 ah! Bang, 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 ah! <laughs> nah, it's close enough. <laughs> All right, one more. Jeweler. World's worst jeweler. Can you, uh, could you uh, leave that ring with me for maybe two weeks? I think it'll take about two weeks for me to get that appraised. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't think we sell anything that can help you look good. <laughs> <laughs> Cindy Lee, Scott, Crystal, and Marge up here. The rest of you guys can take a break. All right. Yeah. All right. Perfect. All right. Come on, step on up here. Um, I, I don't know if you realize this or not, but when you came to the recital tonight, you were going to get a chance to ask any question at all to the world's smartest computer. Right. This computer is really, really smart. It can answer any question you have, anything that's personal, social, political, anything like that. Although we do try to stay a little bit away from the political, but still. Um, if you have a question like when you're going to get married or anything like that, this computer can help you. It says the answer one word at a time, okay? So let's start off. Uh, does anybody have a question for the world's smartest computer tonight? Oh, I know there's something burning in your soul that you've always wanted to know. Like, why is the sky blue or something like that? Come on, what kind of question do you have for the computer? Why is the sky blue? Packers going to lose next week. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, are the Packers going to lose next week, computer, and why? The Packers will lose next week because they are bad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sometimes it's as simple as that, folks. Uh, I, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you the uh, computer is Packer uh, hate. Uh, I heard this too. You know, you wanted to know, sir. So here we go. Computer, why is the sky blue? We'll start with this part right here. The sky is blue because stars cannot show without having a beautiful blue sky. <laughs> See? <laughs> That's why the sky is blue, right? So anything else? Uh, another, another burning question that you have for the computer. Anything at all? When will the world end? Ooh, wow, <laughs> wow. That's a really deep question. But I'm sure the computer has an answer for that. Uh, when will this world end, computer? And you know, if you want to give details as to how it will end, that would be great too, all right? We'll start with this part. We think the world will end when the sky becomes green and purple. Therefore, <laughs> Steven Spielberg <laughs> will now 
show the ending forever. <laughs> in <laughs> Technicolor. All right, yeah. <laughs> Somehow I knew Technicolor was going to be involved in the end of the world. Uh, it won't be televised, folks. It won't be televised. <laughs> All right, so that's really good. All right, how about a personal question? Something that you want to know about your own life, not about the world in general. Something that you need some pers a personal answer for. Anything at all? My hair get brown again. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> computer, what's your name, sir? Steve. Steve, okay. Uh, computer, will uh, Steve's hair ever become brown again? Your hair will turn brown when the stress becomes too difficult for you to Handle. All right, yeah, so yeah, when, when you are stressed out after Max, all that gray will go away. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> all right, so uh, one more question for the computer. Anything else? Well, I'm married for the fourth time. Oh, I'm sorry, what's your name? Marcy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, computer. <laughs> oh, will Marcy get married for the fourth time, and if so, when and how? Yeah. Yes. Marcy will get married for another time with him because you will love every single thing about him. Whoever him is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the world's smartest <laughs> Can you stay up here? The rest of you can go ahead and take a break. And uh, Carl, why don't you come on up? <clears throat>